welcome. This is Melissa Arma with a stock swoosh, and I wanted to review the trade results for the live trading room for the last two and a half months. So August, September, and half of October, just into the half period here, halfway through the month of October. Hard to believe it's almost the end of the year. So advanced trader profits on pace, on pace to close out the year. Very strong here for two and a half month period, 97,630. So Considering the fact that it was an earnings season this whole period, September was a slow month, these are great results. And what accounts for that? Very few losses, okay? Focus and a couple of really nice trades and really nice quality gaps. So this is what you would learn from me if you came and wanted to take my Golden Gap course and learn and join the trading room. If you have any questions, you can email me at melissa at thestockswish.com or call me at 929-3200-GAP or email me again at melissa at thestockswoosh.com if you want to sign up for the Golden Gap course. You can follow me on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, or Skype, or you can watch me on Fox News and Fox Business Network. So, are you ready to end the year strong for yourself? Whether you're trading now or you've been considering trading, you know, it's a good time to jump into the market. Why? Because it's earnings season and there's so many stocks that are moving. The market had such a crazy week this past week. And guess what? When you have a lot of momentum and volatility, it means profits and money for traders if you're playing on the right side. And this week actually was shorts to the downside. So trading is really a skill. What you would learn from me is how to read a chart and predict where it's going to take the trade in the right direction. It's a skill. It's a skill set. And that's the reason you would take my class if you want to learn this skill set. Many people trade the market and they don't have a proper skill set. It's not about reading moving averages. It's not about reading support and resistance. It's about determining what direction the stock is going to go, higher or lower, so that you know to take the trade to profit. So this was a really nice move in here. It cost. It was a gap. Stock closed here, gap down, fell. This was an earnings trade. October 5th was the day. Really big move, really big drop, really big fall. Beautiful move for the cost in there. A huge profitable day in that one, mostly because, again, of the move in the entry. And you will learn the entries in my class as well. FDX closed here, gap down, fell off the planet. Almost a $10 bar. Beautiful, beautiful move. This stock can really rock and roll, just like Costco. And there'll be lots of these in this earnings season. We just started to see the beginning of it. So going back again, beginning of August, Cake was a nice winner. Trip was a good winner. Most of these are shorts, by the way. Some are longs, but I mostly focus on the short side first. SYMC was a winner. DBX was a winner. That was a nice short in the drop box on, the, on an earnings. QQQs was a winner. HD was a loser. Then the Qs was a winner. Macy's was a nice winner. That was a short. WMT took two tries, one loser, one winner. DF was a loser. AMAT, two trades, one loser, one small winner. Q's were a loser, EL was a loser, SPY was a winner on the 20th, E-Trade was a loser here on the 21st, HPE was a winner, Target was a loser, and then a winner here on the 22nd, and LB was a nice solid winner on the 23rd, good gap. GPS was a nice winner on the 24th, no trades on the 27th, again some days, something doesn't meet my criteria, guess what, and there's nothing to do, we don't do anything on those days, it's very important to stay focused. The SPY was a loser here. SPY was a winner here. That day was kind of like a wash on the 28th, 29th. DKS was a loser. Then AEO was a winner. Two TV days off. And then month of September, room was closed for the holiday. No trades on the 10th. BABA was a loser. Apple was a nice big winner on the 11th. No trades on the 12th. CARE was a winner on the 13th. SPY was a loser on the 14th. No trades on the 17th. FDX was that one we were discussing earlier. Nice winner. No trades in the 19th. 20th was RT was a loser. QQQs was a winner. UNIFI was a loser. And then second trade was a winner on the 21st. No trades in the 24th. Facebook on the 25th, first trade was a loser. CTL was a winner. Nike was a loser on the 26th. IBM was a good one. Then on the 26th was a winner. DVBY, solid short in there on the 27th. Facebook, huge winner on the 28th. Tesla was a loser. The first was a day off. SF. IX was a winner on the 2nd. This is, again, we're starting now in the, the earnings season here is beginning October. Senex was a winner on the 3rd. No trades on the 4th. Costco, huge winner. Showed you that chart in there. Closed for the holiday. Columbus Day. Kyar was a small winner on the 10th. Late entry. Fast was a loser on the 10th. And QQQs was a winner. And the SPY was a loser. For, actually, this first trade was a winner, but missed the eggs in the morning. So the first trade was a loser. Um, if you follow me, then the second one was a winner and no trades in the 12th. So $97,630 in two and a half months is an amazing amount of profit. And you say, well, how much do you have to 
risk, Melissa, for an advanced trade or profit like that, minimum $1,500 a trade. Some are a little bit less, some are a little bit more, but usually around $1,500. Again, this isn't an exact science because you're not taking the exact same share quantity every time I take a trade because when you have an entry and then the stop, you need to get into it. So you're sizing yourself in your head. If I say 10 by 50, that's 40 cents and you have to size yourself accordingly. Okay, so 40 cents of 4,000 shares would be what? $1,600 for the risk. You're always looking to turn it over one to one. If you'd like more information, you can email me at melissa at thestockswoosh.com or sign up for my Golden Gap course. It's not till November. So you got a couple weeks in here. And if you, know, you want to sign up for the class in November now, you can get in the trading room to join, get in. But it is several weeks away, almost a month away, which you will miss half of earnings season. This is the time to trade, though, people. Price of the class is going up on November 1st. So if you're interested in this class, you've got to sign up by November 1st to pay $54.99. Price is going up to $59.99 on November 1st. New website's rolling out. The class is always on a weekend, Saturday and Sunday, November 3rd and 4th, 9 to 5. Class is online. You can be anywhere in the world and take it. Email me at melissa at thestockswoosh.com if you want to register. The trends course, you get half off if you sign up at the same time as the GAP class, $59.99. Again, classes online, you learn long-term trends in stock charts. This has been a great year. And uh, if you have sat on the sidelines, if you have done absolutely nothing but watch my videos, you obviously, uh, you know, I have realized that I have something good. If you want to start making money, if you want to get all of these calls, if you want to trade and get these trades live and not miss the rest of the year, then you can do the class in November. You can sign up early to get in. And you can, uh, you know, join the room, but you've got to be a student to join the live trader room. If you cannot risk $1,500 a trade, you can risk half that. You can risk a quarter of that. You risk what you can afford. You're looking to turn your money over once a day per day. Any questions, email me at melissa at thestockswoosh.com. Have a great day, everyone.